Hi guys, this is Noid. Weirdly, um, this is the first start after removing all the butterfly uh, valve parts on it. And uh, what I must say that uh, I didn't expect actually any changes from the voice of the from the voice of the bike but it appears to be running with a lot better so yeah maybe it did something or maybe it's just in my ears because I haven't heard it uh, in a week but yeah today's a good day to ride and oh shit I'm running out of petrol <laughs> so gas station it is all right see ya I didn't really plan on doing a vlog, but now I feel kind of like obligated. If you have a Jixer, um, K1 to K4, 5 or whatever, and you still use the butterfly valve, get rid of that shit. Really, even if it works like properly. Because um, I hadn't done it. Um, I mean the mechanism was missing, but uh, the valve was still sitting uh, in the in the system. And uh, now that I let my friend take it out, uh, you can notice the difference. Really notice the difference. The bike uh, maybe has lost something from the bottom end, but. It really feels smooth, and the special uh, special thing is, it sounds a lot clearer, uh, and the pitch, the sound pitch is kind of a little bit lower. And uh, what you know is, uh, the uh, most important for me, for example, is the engine braking. The engine braking is a lot smoother. It doesn't jerk up anymore. That it uh, well, it used to like uh, when I switched down uh, gears. It used to start to like wobble, uh, but now it's kind of smooth. And the acceleration. I gotta tell you. I kind of think that the acceleration is better too. Uh, not from the low end, but on the higher revs, it seems to be running. Uh, it seems to be running a little bit like uh, smoother when the real power comes on. I'm just gonna show you something weird. Take a look at that woman. She looks just like she has done something in her pants and don't want anybody else to know about it. Man, girl, maybe you should get some higher heels and work in a freaking circus. Jesus Christ. And the sound is better. Man, the sound is really better. Fuck. Too early. I was um, prematurely in gear. Oh, hiking in the morning. Man, you can hear it. It is better. And the bike is running smooth. Nah. Switching down, switching down, switching down. Yeah, it's it's kind of like it is quieter, but you can hear it better because uh, the sound pitch is lower. I don't know, maybe or something. And it feels to me like the. Free running of the engine has gotten a little better.
kind of feels like it. Oh, check this out. That's cool. I'm all scared already. I'm always scared about them uh, counterweights that are on the back of the cranes. Because uh, when the cranes operate near the, uh, near the road, uh, the counterweights are like uh, hanging over the road. I don't know if that's really like a legal way of doing building because you know shit happens and uh, they could really drop and the counterweight is not that small there are blocks of uh, concrete hanging and uh, that's almost weight of Woo! almost had a crash here yeah you're being friendly the woman was freaking waiting like minutes right in front of you and you didn't have that second damn man being a bastard yeah yeah English shape bastard um, US maybe jerk asshole Sorry. Um, and stuff like that, but... Woo! Another one! Come on, what is going on in this morning? Yeah, a lot of Estonian people are uh, shy switching lanes because uh, not too many people let you you know, it's like a constant uh, uh, competition for uh, for your place on the road. I like to do that on the bridge. Uh, there's a really small bridge near a um, motorcycle shop where almost everybody does it. It's a, actually a quiet neighborhood, so one shouldn't do it, but man, it sounds good there. I'm gonna do that once uh, in the near future. I'll let you hear it too. It sounds like a thunder. Now come on, where are you walking? There's a perfectly good side road uh, over there. And you're not supposed to, I know what they're going to do, they're going to hitchhike, but you're not supposed to do it here. <sighs> I've had somebody try to pick up a girl here. Uh, I mean, like, a uh, hitchhiker. Uh, or a girl, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, thing is that you're not supposed to uh, park or stop here unless you have a big issue or something and uh, yeah the car was uh, eventually rear-ended and uh, towed away because uh, well you're not supposed to stop here it's uh, 70s kind of sh road during morning and the evening people don't really drive 70 around here because it's crowded and yeah friendly face because it's crowded and not that good but during lunchtime I see cars going by like hold on 100, 100 kilometers an hour so that's like 60, 60 miles or so yeah not that not that nice no no huh. oh sporty kind of guy please don't run me over Running is good for your runaway, boy. That was in a uh, movie, I guess. Or in my mind. I always wanted to say it's somebody there. Running is good for you. Now run along, boy. <laughs> 